Hey guys, today we're going to do a Photoshop tutorial on uh, setting a nice stage and using shadows to, you know, make a nice advertisement or a nice call to action or however you want to use it. This is just a nice uh, Photoshop technique to use shadows and setting a stage. So let's go ahead and set our first project up and open a new window. Uh, I'm going to make it about 6 inches wide, 8 inches high, uh, at a resolution of 72. Make sure we're in RGB color mode and uh, go ahead and click OK. It's going to give us our new stage. I already pushed F uh, so we're in this full screen mode and if you hold down spacebar you can move around your artboard. Okay so first off what we're going to want to do is get a nice color in here. So make a new layer from the new layers button and uh, fill it uh, with go ahead and fill it with the background color. Got a nice dark blue color here and uh, this color here is 106103 if you're following along if you want to make your own that's cool too so what we're going to use this color and then next what we're going to want to do it's a nice background color is we're going to select our elliptical marquee tool make a nice selection about one third of the middle of the page and go ahead and we want to make a nice fuzzy effect so select and modify this selection. We're going to want to feather it at about mm, 50 pixels. That was good. Uh, so you just put 50 in there. Select OK. And that's uh, going to give us a nice soft edges. So go ahead and edit. Fill this selection with our foreground color. And you see it gives us a nice little glow effect. Uh, the one I used is 2562249. So going to go ahead and do that and then also we're going to want to create another layer of awesomeness and uh, make this selection a little bit smaller contract it I'd say about 30 pixels select OK and we're going to want to edit fill and we're going to choose a color this time we're going to choose a nice brighter blue so it can offset the other two colors and there we have it. Command D, get rid of your selection, and uh, you can turn the visibility on and off and see that we have a nice, awesome, fuzzy look to our project. Okay, so select this one, hold down Shift, select the other one, and uh, click, hold down Shift, and then you can drag it and make sure it stays in the same line, make sure it's in the middle. And uh, <clears throat> if you don't hold down shift, it's just going to be harder. You know, you're going to move it over to the edge and stuff. But if you mess up, Command Z will take you back to where you were. And uh, I always like to just keep things organized. So select all these, select the bottom one, hold down shift, Command G, group it together, duplicate the group. And you can hide this one. And we're going to want to merge this group together so we can edit all of the colors together collectively. Select the rectangular marquee tool and we're going to select the bottom portion of this document. Um, go ahead and push command J and now we've duplicated the bottom portion of this layer on the top and we can hold down click hold down shift and drag it down to give us a nice uh, background image gives us a nice stage setup and then the last part we want to do is create a new layer and we're going to want to just edit fill this whole layer with a nice uh, nice darker color and this is a nice little technique to use here to give a nice soft edges go ahead and make a nice big border select the middle and you can also just right click select feather 50 pixels is good select OK so now we selected this middle area push delete and there you have it it doesn't look like much but you can see it's hard edges like soften it up a little bit okay so now what we want to do is place our point of interest in here and let me go ahead and say we're gonna say we're selling some clocks today uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this image, nice image of a clock here. i got the source files that are going to be underneath the video on YouTube so you can get to these 
images as well if you want to follow along when you place the image it's always going to be a placed as a smart image as you can tell by this little logo right here so we're going to right click on this layer and rasterize it so we can edit it click the magic wand tool and then make sure it's tolerance 22 anti-alias and contiguous are selected and uh, select this white area by clicking in it and you also want to select this area hold down shift click you selected both areas push delete command D and now we got our clock in here we're trying to sell and uh, we can go ahead and put a nice little bit of text in here you know as like a tagline time is money haha -ha. and uh, make it nice white so we can see the tagline select the move tool V or click up there put it over here uh, nice and center it up and uh, I don't think that's really gonna help me sell this clock too much I need a I need a new need to hire some some real help here so let's place uh, get it got a nice little this guy this guy's gonna help me sell my clock Al I don't know who this is but it uh, looks like he knows what he's doing he's got, got a nice clock um, so I'm gonna go ahead and place him up there he talks every now and then just whatever it's aggravating um, so we've already hit the old clock seller layer now we got the higher better help and we're gonna wanna rasterize this layer so we can edit it and uh, my buddy here told me you know he wants to get rid of it but we wanna select see how when we did that this time it selected this white part of this difficult clock because you know flavor flav has got to be hard to work with so we're going to select the inverse selects most of my buddy flavor flav here we're going to zoom in a little bit and uh, see if we can't fix this hold down the space bar so we can get a nice area select this elliptical marquee since the clocks are elliptical hold down shift so it adds to the selection that we've inversely selected in a nice circle uh, hold down the while holding down shift hold down space and move your selection right over the edge of that clock and there you go there you have a nice little gonna add that to clean it up a little bit so now we've selected collectively the most part of flavor flavor in this clock we're gonna want to push command J and that duplicates our selection. We hide this layer below of Flavor Flav. Now we got Super Flavor Flav all rendered out and cut out nice and awesome. He's gonna help us sell our sell our clocks. Let's go ahead and make them a little bit smaller here. Hold down Shift as always so we can maintain our proportions. Put them right in the. So we gotta center this guy right in the middle. I like to put a. The whole purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to use the shadows. So Command J and create a, another awesome layer of Flavor Flav. Click the one below them. Go ahead and make uh, Command T. Uh, it's going to let you edit this. Hold down the Command button, the Apple button, so you get this nice cool arrow. And this is going to be our shadow layer. The one behind, and uh, doesn't really look like a shadow yet. So let's double click this, make it color overlay, select a nice dark blue color, just with the eyedropper tool. Okay, okay. Uh, it's got a little bit of hard edges, so we're gonna add a Gaussian blur. Uh, 2.5 is good. Make that shadow look a little realistic. Uh, change the opacity down. So it looks like a shadow. And then since I made a make a new layer, and we're gonna make a nice little circle here, so it looks like Flavor Flav isn't just standing in the blue 
background. We're going to edit, fill this with black, and Command D. We want to do the same thing filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Give the circle a nice little bit of depth to it. Uh, select your eraser tool. Make sure you have a nice soft brush and uh, come over here and you know kind of make his legs disappear into the dark hole that he's coming out of to help us sell our awesome clocks and uh, go ahead and finish up you know real quick gotta put our the name of our clock company call it yo clocks take the yo and add a little flare make it regular click OK, OK, push V for the move tool, move it up, and then T put you know a nice website name. And uh, you know, make that smaller. Fill this move this around, push V so you can move it around. Yo clocks, put that right there. Make it a little bit bigger so it stands out a little bit more. Uh, the website, select all these, shift, click, and then command, click. So we've selected every the background in those and we can center everything. And uh, there, there you have it. Time is money. Hope you took the time to watch this tutorial and uh, hope Flavor Flav didn't scare you too much with his cool sunglasses and uh, but whatever he's gonna help us sell some clocks and I hope you uh, had a good time with this tutorial and uh, look forward for more coming from fredjk.org and I will uh, see you guys later bye